So we'll show you kind of how to do that, but you can use these in a typical tent and buttress, tie them right to each other and then and still ratchet it. Or you can do it where you can have three points of contact and basically a cradle a system. And you'll see the effectiveness on that too. We may not even need to capture suspension, but the suspend like the stabilization is a we have to. Like that's not going away. So I would work on the importance and then this is a backup plan if we need to do it. And everyone just ensure those collars are locked before you put tension on it. And and this too, I would just you twist it. Now you have both hooks kind of working with you here. Yeah. Okay, and then as soon as you start seeing that slight lift, then you're done. Now just double check your work, see if you guys are happy with, does it feel pretty secure to you? So you guys let me know. What throws people off is the way it looks here. It's still, we still got a pretty good try. Like overall, I can look at this picture and if, if these continued up, I almost have almost what looks like a perfect triangle, right? All right, so, and remember, every time we're done, we wanna just make sure this locks in place. Now, it, now it's kind of complete. Um, all right, so now this is where we can talk about capturing the suspension if you want. See what it does. To, to utilize the least amount of equipment, just use one ratchet from that tire around to this tire and try to see how much uh, suspension you can bring up.